Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my current skincare routine. I had talked about it in my foundation routine video and then it got too long so I had to cut it out. So, I'm just going to get started and I'm very dry. In case you haven't been watching my videos, um, with an oily, I have like an oily patch right there and I don't really change my skincare for that. I, um, use a different powder and that pretty much helps control it. Um, the first thing I'll start with cleansing is the tool that I like to use and this is Clarisonic Mia. This is the original. I've had it forever. It lasts years. I know it's a little bit expensive but it's really worth it. I used to have a lot of like acne like all on my chin and I just couldn't get rid of it. It just would not go away. No matter what I used to do it would not go away um and i got this and i also stopped using mac um cleanse up oil because that was a big part of it and i didn't realize and i used it for like years um but this is so so worth it i don't even use it that often i probably use it like two or three times a week i don't use it every day okay for I'll start off with some exfoliators. Now this one is a little bit harsh. It's the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. And um, it has bigger like beads in it than the next one I'm going to talk about. But I really like this for my body. And I'll sometimes use it on my face if I don't have anything else. But I do like this. I know a lot of people will say that it like tears up their skin. It doesn't as long as I don't push hard. But again, I prefer it for my body, which I think the skin's not as delicate as your face. Um, this one is my favorite, and this is the Elginus Multi Perfecting Detoxifying Exfoliator. And it looks like this, and I've already bought a full size. This was like a, came in like a little sample bag from Sephora. <sighs> and let me just say that the full size is like only twice as big as this, and it's like $30. But it's so nice. It doesn't even feel like. It kind of feels like clay, sort of. Like it has a thicker consistency and it has like a little bit of granules, but not too much. Like mud. Like you're just rubbing mud all over your face, but a nice mud. But this is, it doesn't dry me out at all. And I really like that about this. Um, but it still gets off all the dead stuff and all the texture. Now, I have two cleansers that I like to use. The first one is First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. That's all it says. And you can get this from Sephora. I um, I'm dry, and this is not the most gentle thing. But sometimes I feel like I need more than my next cleanser. Like I need a better clean. Do you know what I mean? Some days I so I, I use this probably like once a week, and I use it with my Clarisonic, and I really, really like it because it's not too harsh. Where like my skin is totally dried out but I love this. My next cleanser which I've had forever. I've had this bottle forever. I think they've even changed the packaging. I've had it for probably like a year. Um, this is the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser with ceramides and hyaluronic acid. And this is kind of expensive. You can get it at Target or Walmart or whatever. Um, it's like $15 for something you can buy at Target but if you have dry skin this is the best thing. It kind of feels weird because it doesn't sud up it has a weird consistency and if you used it you kind of know what i'm saying um you have to get used to washing your face with it's basically like you're rubbing serum all over your face do you know what I mean? like it's lotion but it does clean your face and it works really well and it does hydrate and it doesn't dry you out obviously since it hydrates but yeah i really suggest this if you have um dry skin like out of all these things this is what you need. The next thing are masks. I'll start with this one. This one is the Feel Beautiful oh, mm, Freeman Facial Peel Off Mask Cucumber. Um, St. Ives used to make a, it was like a Hydro something mask and it was very similar to this. This basically is like really thick clear stuff. 
and you just rub it all over your face you let it dry and it peels everything and it peels off and um this is really good for hydration that's why i like this one i don't use it so much in the summer um what does it say it's supposed to do a super cooling skin quenching mask that gently peels away impurities that can cause skin to be rough and dull contains cucumber extract and aloe to soothe while moisturizing ensuring skin while soft to smooth this is none of this okay so basically it peels off all the dead stuff and it moisturizes your skin um it says perfect for normal to combination skin i have dry skin and i really really like this it does peel off like so whenever you take it off you can see all of the dirt and stuff that it peel it does it's not like hard to peel off it just like gently takes everything off but i really i really like this and it what does it smell like mm, smells weird but smells kind of cucumbery okay the next one is one that it's new i have i just i've only used it a couple times but i thought i would talk about it and it's the beauty control warming trend green tea mask um, this came in a little kit that I got from my auntie. I don't know where to buy beauty control. I think it's kind of like Mary Kay where you have to like go through somebody. I'm not sure. Um, but it's so weird. Like you, as soon as you put it on your hand, it gets really warm, like immediately. And this is not good, that good for dry skin. Um, I don't put this on my cheeks. I usually put it in my T-zone and that's it. This is not a mask where you leave it on. You have you put it on, you wet your face, and then you like rub, and then you leave it for like a minute, and then you take it off. But this stuff makes your skin look like just so smooth. Like I don't, I can't explain it. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna, I'll do a video like with just this. Can you see the name of it? Um, but I really, I like that a lot. And of course, the ever famous. Glam glow, glow Mask. This is really good for dry skin. Um, and it smells really good too. This one looks like that. It reminds me of something as a child. Is it like some kind of sunblock or something? I don't know. It smells kind of coconutty. This is the best, best mask I've ever tried for my dry skin. Like if I really have a dry patch that I just cannot get rid of, I'll just put this on it. And I have to use it a couple days because I get I have eczema and rosacea. And um, I'll get dry patches that will not go away. No matter what I put, I can freaking sleep with aquifer on it. I could put moisturizer for days and it won't take it away. This will take it away eventually along with my normal skincare routine. But I really, this makes your skin look so, it makes your skin so soft and like plump and su supple and gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The next one is the black. So this one was, this is Thirsty Mud, isn't it? Yeah, Thirsty Mud. This one is Youth Mud, and the only place I use it on my is on my nose because I tend to get blackheads and um, I have larger pores, and this does a really good job of shrinking pores temporarily. Like, so if you have like a special event or something to go to where you want your makeup to look extra flawless, you can just put this on. And for a couple days, your, like, your pores will look smaller. Mine do, and it takes everything out. Now I do have the white one also. Oh, and another thing about this. I don't buy the big one of this and that's because they dries out really fast, this one. Um, I also have the white one and I only use that on my chin because I am acne prone, especially on my chin. And um, like when I start to see like little breakouts, I'll use it and then it kind of gets rid of all of those and it makes more from, stops more from coming. Um, because I tend to like start to get one and then it just like, they like multiply, you know? And it's just like all of a sudden I have like this beard of pimples and no. So I really like those. Now, before I put my makeup on, steps. So these are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Oh, I forgot to talk about the First Aid Beauty uh, Moisturizing, Ultra Moisturizing Cream. I have it because I have it in my bedside table. I always forget about it because I don't keep it at my vanity. Um, I use it at night. It's not, I don't really care for the way it sits underneath makeup. That's why I use it at night. But it works really well. Um, but I have the Facial Radiance Pads. Exfoliate, Tone, and Brighten. These are a little bit harsh for dry skin. So if you have dry skin, I wouldn't use these very often. Um, I tend to use them on my nose and like my T-zone, like I said. But I really do like them. Do I think that they're worth, because I don't know, I think these are like 30 something for like a bigger jar. Because this, this one came in a kit. Um... I don't think they're worth it for me. Honestly, maybe if you have oily skin or you have 
I was trying to see the ingredients, but they're not on here. They must be on the they must have been on the box, but Okay, so the next thing is the simple cleansing water. Now, I I really like this. I do not use it to take off my makeup. I don't find it good, does a good job. Um, the way I use it is as a toner and um, what, after I wash my face and stuff after I take my makeup off and then I use this on a cotton pad. Uh, this help, this really helps moisturize your skin. Like even if, you know, when you get out of a hot shower, your skin is super tight and it just feels like super dry. This helps. Like it makes that whole dry feeling go away. Um, Oh, and I didn't include what I use for my makeup to take off my makeup. I always use baby oil. The reason I use baby oil is because I've tried pretty much any every cleanse off oil, which that's my preferred um, like type of makeup remover. I don't really like the liquid ones or wipes don't do anything. Um, but that's my preferred type. But I've every make um, cleanse off oil makes me break out. Baby oil is the only thing that doesn't make me break doesn't make me break out and it works really well and it's cheap so I guess hey but anyways this is what I use afterwards to make sure everything's off and I really I really like this I, I only have a little bit left I've used it religiously religiously twice a day and the next thing I have which is I don't have the pot anymore because I finished it and I threw it away but this is Cetaphil moisturizing cream and I have the tube somewhere which I couldn't find it must be in like my travel thing but um it comes in a tube and in a pot. This is the one from the pot. And so I guess I could show you. It's just like a white cream. That does no good. That does you no good. But this stuff, I just love the way it's very hydrating and it doesn't irritate my skin. And it sits well underneath my foundation, which was one of the issues that I had with the CeraVe moisturizing cream. It doesn't didn't it doesn't sit like I would like it to. I also really like the um CeraVe what is it called? It's the S8 cream. It's like has salicylic acid in it and because I have like a bunch of little like bumps on my arms. Well I don't anymore but I did. That's what I use on my arms like and it helps just take away texture. It really does help a lot with texture. Like I was using it on my forehead because I have a lot of little bumps that are not like it's just not really it wasn't really smooth and that it really does help. It's kind of it's more expensive. It's like $25 for like a Target lotion but if it's worth it to you, that's really good stuff. But I don't like how any of the CeraVe things sit underneath my foundation. I've never used like the daytime moisturizer or anything. But I really like this one. I need to get a new jar. The last thing I have is the Eye Duty Triple Remedy. Eye Duty Triple Remedy. This is from First Aid Beauty, and it instantly brightens, depuffs, and smooths. And it does all those things. And I find like over time, like when you use this on a regular basis, um, without using it it, it, it gradually makes your under eyes not as dark. And I noticed one day because I took a before picture of my makeup and then I had to go back from to a few months ago before I used this and um, it, it, it's, it's, it's a noticeable difference. I don't know if it's just because it is moisturizing or what, but this does, it does a really, it's tinted and it really does, it does a really good job of um, hiding your circles anyway and it sits nicely under your concealer which is a big thing for me. Um, but I've heard a few, a few people say that this dries out their under eye, but it doesn't do that for me. So I don't have like a really dry under eye. Like I'm dry on my cheeks and like all right here, like in this, like next to my under eye. Like I'm not dry like under here. Um, and I'm dry like right here. This is like my main dry spot right here. Mm, it's kind of dry right now. Um, but this doesn't dry my under eyes out and I really like it. It's kind of expensive though. But I think it's worth it because even when I don't wear makeup, it looks good. Like my under eyes look better. And it just is nice and cooling. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, for um, eye cream, I've never really found an eye cream that I love. I've tried a bunch, but none of them 
do anything different than lotion, than my regular nighttime lotion does, you know? And so that's my thought on that. But yeah, this is so this is mainly geared for dry skin. When I go through, when I do my um, makeup kit video, I will go through like the steps I take for oily skin and different skin types. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Bye.